Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to build a quick uh, chat room with Express and Socket.io. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials out there, but I wanted to get around to making this tutorial, so let's go ahead and do it. So, I'm going to make a directory on my desktop called Socket to Chat. CD into there. And I'm going to create our server.js file, and I'm also going to touch a package.json. And on top of that, I'm just going to make a quick directory called public to serve up our chat. And uh, inside of there, we'll just touch an index.html file. And then we, we'll grab a lot of the content from CDNs. Um, so what we want in our package.json, we're just going to give it an empty object for now. And then uh, after that, let's go ahead and do npm init to initialize our package. And uh, awesome. And then we'll do npm install uh, socket.io and then express dash dash save. And it'll run you through how to create this uh, application. So let me go ahead and wind this up. Let me remove that. I was working on one earlier. So let me open this up. Do file open. And let's go to our desktop and we're going to do socket to chat. And so from here, what we're going to want to do is set up our server. So we're going to do var express, like always, is requiring the express module. And then from there, we're going to do var app is equal to express. Uh, we're going to use our directory, so we're going to go app.use express uh, static. And we're going to pass it directory name, the node global. And we're going to pass slash public. And finally, we're going to create a server variable to attach our instance of sockets to, to listen to that specific server or attach our events to that server. So we're going to do app.listen3000 um, with an optional callback function and just say console.log listening on port 3000. And then from there, we can do var um, io is equal to require socket uh, dot io and then we'll pass in an instance of our server and then looks like that's about all we need so let's just go in here in our index and stub out a boilerplate code real quick and do sockets chat and let's see if we can grab our cdns in here so we want socket i already have that and then i also want to i'm going to go in here and grab jquery cdn so we're going to use uh, event binding and again, we're just creating a very simple socket to chat. We're not even worrying about user usernames. We're just going to show you, you know, real-time communication between two uh, sockets. So we also want jQuery right there. And we're going to have a third script tag to write our uh, jQuery JavaScript code. The ready handler. And uh, my bad. And we're just going to say uh, console.log. Uh, jQuery has loaded. Basically the way a sockets chat room works is you have an event that's emitted on the client that sends itself to the server. The server receives that event, uh, everything's synced up, it sends it back to the client, and then the client will do something like append messages onto our chat. So we're just going to create very basic, um, we're not even going to use bootstrap, we're just going to create a, a, a div here with messages. and. We're going to have an input type of text with an ID of message. And we're going to have a label for message. We're going to say enter message. And then let's just see what we have right now. Localhost 3000. Let me run our server. So we're going to do nodemon server.js. Hopefully we're not getting any errors. There we go. Enter message. Cool, and I guess we can do a few, like some horizontal rules here, and we'd say um, messages, and then here's our messages. Cool, and so let's get started uh, with binding to some events. So we can do this as we can do the first one is io dot on. So in the io global that we're getting uh, right here, there's a connection uh, event listener. And this comes with it a callback function which receives a socket. And we can just console.log. Um, a user has connected. 
we can also grab that socket ID and there's a few more other properties on there so let's let's actually try <coughs> sorry about that let's uh let's go ahead and try this out so the way this will work we'll do node mods over js listening on port 3000 so now if i go ahead and hit enter or reload this again uh, well not yet guys i forgot one more thing so that's the server side uh, but what we actually need to do is create a variable called socket in here, which just invokes the IO global. And then from there, we can run it, listening on port 3000, hit this again, and a user has connected, and then we get the socket ID. Awesome. Um, cool. So that's awesome. And we can also um, grab one more here just to start to you know, expand this out. So now, we bring this back, just to show you guys. Now we have two users have connected, so we'll run it again. User has connected, two users have connected, and they're completely different WebSocket IDs. All right, cool. Um, so let's actually bind to some events. So what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna write an event um, that sort of simulates an enter event, okay? Uh, so we're gonna say, enter a message and hit return. So let's just change the, change this real quick. Oh, my bad. And once over JS, let's just change this to enter a message and hit return. And um, so what we'll do is we'll grab, uh, we'll do message dot uh, key, what will it be? I guess, I don't know, key down. And we'll bind to that event and we'll say, if event dot which, which will return a key code, is equal to 13, because 13 is enter, we'll just console dot log, um, console dot log the message. So we're just going to say var message is equal to um, this dot event, or what will be this dot rel, and let's just console dot log message plus message. So let's try this out again. So user is connected so we have one socket two sockets so we'll say hello world then we hit enter and let's see message dot key down if event dot which is equal to 13 let me see what i did wrong here must have messed something up what's it saying console um error connection refused yeah. Bar IO um, socket socket. Hold on, I think what we can do is this. Let me just check something out real quick for you guys. The stop val is not a function. Um what would it be? This dot value? Maybe. Let me try that one more time. Hello world. Okay, so we are getting that. Cool. Um, change this to yo. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. <coughs> so we're getting yo. And um, so now that we actually have that message, let's go ahead and create an event. And let's send it to our server. So we'll do socket dot emit um, message to um, message to server, and then we'll pass along with it the message. Um, so we just close out of there. And now in our server side code, uh, we can do do uh, what would it be this time? It will be it will be uh, socket dot uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, socket dot on. Um, now we want to do message to server function. This comes comes with a, a message, and we'll just console dot log uh, received received message in server, and then we'll just look at the actual message. 
we're getting back in our server side code. So let's go ahead and run this. So we're getting in and we go ahead and run this and we'll say hello world. Awesome. Receive message in server. Hello world. So we're getting that server, we're getting that message in our server side code. And finally, the final thing that we need to do is now do um, a IO dot emit, which will emit to all sockets, um, message append to client, and give it these very specific names, and we'll just pass along that message. And uh, we'll also, actually we'll pass along an object, we'll pass along message, which is the message, and we'll pass along the ID, which is the socket dot ID. So, but I mean, you don't, you don't have to do that. I'm just doing that for fun. And uh, cool, so we got that, clean that up a little bit. And now, and here we can do socket dot on uh, message, message, append to client function data, which is a console.log data. And let's look at the data we're actually getting back this time. So we're getting in here listening. Let me pull up my um, dev tools right here. And let's see what it says in here. Uh, connection refused. Uh, socket IO. Socket on. What does it say? Why is it giving me a connection refused in here? Okay. Hello world. Okay. Cool, so we actually are getting our object message and an ID with our socket ID, pretty cool. So that's all working the way we want it to. And so the final, final thing that we wanna do, now that we actually, you know, we're playing this game of ping pong and we've gotten everything, uh, what we wanna do is um, append it to our messages div, which is um, right down here. So we're gonna do dot messages append and we're going to say uh, user plus data dot id plus says plus uh, data dot message or data dot message and that should wrap it up but let's just make sure so we're going to try it enter a message and hit return so we're going to say hello sockets okay so it says user says hello sockets awesome and uh, let's go ahead and refresh both of our, let's go ahead and restart, reset all these. So we'll say, hello world. There it is, right there, real time. Yo, uh, well, let me change one more thing. We want a line break probably. Dot messages, dot append, and then we'll pass it a line break. And so let's try restart the server real quick and say, hello, Theo, and I'll say, hello, Joe, and then, you know, you can keep doing it. Yo, 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 yo. So there it is, real time with Socket.io. The last thing you might want to do is do uh, dot messages. Uh, what else would you want to do? I guess you would want to do uh, uh, message dot HTML. I mean, you just want to give this a empty string at that point. So let's just try one more time. Say yo, Theo. Uh, actually, message dot HTML. Here's what we want to do. Message dot HTML. And uh, start this. Here we go. Maybe I did that in the wrong spot. Let me see. Message.html. And let's try it one more time. Hey there. Hmm, am I getting an error? Let me see real quick. Oh, uh, message.val. Alright, that's what we want. Yo, yo, yo. There we go. So now it'll clear it out on uh, on that broadcast. Hey, man. Let me refresh that. Hey, man. Yo, dude. 
So pretty cool. So pretty quick introduction for you for uh, building a simple chat room with Socket IO. Obviously, there's a lot more things that you can do with that, but sort of just wanted to show you guys how that works. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.